Hello and welcome to this how to play video with myself, Jordan, and I'm joined here with the one and only Michael Costello. How are you the doing? One mate? Only. Oh, the one and only. Thank you, Jordan. I'm doing well. I'm very excited to talk about um, one of my loves, the Astra Militarum, or as you may know them, the Imperial Guard. Um, one of your loves, yeah. One of my loves. Yeah. Oh wow. I, well, I've loves? got several loves. You've got several loves. Yes. Oh but, wow. You know, okay. that's for another another um That's not this type of content. No. Um, okay, right. <laughs> so Obviously, a big uh, thank you to Games Workshop for providing us the data cards mm. um, and just everything that we've got here to be able to preview um, this army for you. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. So, who are the guards? What What are the Astra Militarum? So, obviously, humanity in the Imperium mm -hmm. is um, well. The Imperium's big, and there's not enough Switch. enough Space Marines to go around. Right. So we're used to seeing the Space Marines in the Poster Boys yes. of Warhammer 40k. Um, the Space Marines can't be everywhere. Mm -hmm. So sometimes mortal humans like me and you, um, mortal. yeah, uh, we we they have to take up the fight. They have to protect these um, uh, planets, these systems, yeah. um, in service of the Emperor. Yeah. Uh, until maybe help needs to arrive via the Space Marines, or and sometimes they even do things themselves. Oh wow! Yeah, imagine Bless that them. normal humans actually winning battles oh, um, against cute. all the horrors in the universe. Cute. So yeah, obviously you got the men, you got the women, you got whatever else you want to be um, in the army, and we've got Cadia is well known. Uh, I've got a Talan collection. You'll see some of those in, in this video right? today. Cadia is destroyed, um, but lots of regiments of Cadians are on different planets here and there and everywhere. Does it still stand? Uh, well, yes, because the guys are still alive. So I don't think it does. I, okay, all right. We're not going to have this discussion, <laughs> George. Um, so, yes, yeah, so you've got lots of different planets that they all come from. Yeah. Um, they can come in many different shapes and sizes. Um, yeah. How do they operate, though? Is it more infantry based or is it a mix like how does the um, Astra Militarum operate? So the Astra Militarum there's officers, officers is kind of like the, the gist so it's yep. all very organized, regimented, yep. you got officers give orders to their specialty, yep. um, you have a infantry sort of part of the Imperial Guard, yep. you have obviously the vehicles and tanks part of the Imperial Guard, mm -hmm. um, you kind of have an artillery part Okay. Um, and there is an Air Force as well, there is a Navy. So it's, it's similar to modern exactly, modern exactly, army. Exactly. Cool. Um, nice. Yes. All right. Well, should we look at the army rule? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So what is the army rule? So the army rule for these guys is voice of command. Mm -hmm. Very fitting. Yep. Uh, and basically what it means is in your command phase, your officer keyword units yep. are going to issue orders. Okay. All right. All right. So, and it's just in your command phase. So at any point in your command phase. Okay. So you get to choose. So you get to choose. Cool. Exactly. So there's a few different orders. Now you issue orders within six inches. Okay. You can't issue orders to someone that's battle shocked. Right. Okay. And for most uh, units, if they become battle shocked or they have an order, they're no longer affected by the order. Ah, right. Okay. okay. And if okay. you give them an order whilst they already have one, the new one replaces the old one. Right. So you can only ever be affected by one order. At that's time. right. There are some exceptions. Okay. Which right. we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll go through as, later. As, as we go through. Um, okay. So there are six orders. Yep. And this is the same regardless of who's issuing the order and where it's going. So vehicles get the same thing as infantry, mm -hmm. and which has changed from the previous edition. The first one is move, move, move. I know this one. Yep. So add three inches to your move characteristic. Nice. Okay. Cool. Come in handy. Really, really handy. Yeah. Um, for some of these six inch move units just to get on objectives, maybe get angles. Yeah. Very, very useful. Fixed bayonets, which improves your weapon skill characteristic of your melee weapons by one. I like that one. I think that might be my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not surprised. Yep. <laughs> um, take aim, improve okay. your ballistic skill characteristic. That's my least um, favorite. Buy one. Yep. Cool. That's that's great. And remember that this is weapon skill and ballistic skill characteristics. Yep. So, so if you have a plus one to hit, it will stack. It will stack. Um, cool. So where you're looking at things like heavy yep. on units, that's going to stack with this. Right. Um, okay. Skill modifier, which is important. Which is yeah. very important. Yeah. Super important. Then we've got first rank fire, second rank fire. Yep. This is one of my favorites of the orders. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what it does is it improves the attacks characteristic of rapid fire weapons uh, in the unit by one. Okay. So it's an extra shot for yes. every rapid fire. For every rapid fire weapon um, at the full range. So if you've got a LAS gun, 24 inch range, rapid fire one, which means that you're going to get an extra shot. Okay. Yeah. Um, at 12 inches. Now um, it's 24 inch range, two shots instead yep. of one shot. Still rapid fire one, which means at half range you'll get three, you get three shots. shots per last one. Oh, exactly. 
That's a lot. Great. That's a lot of lights coming at you. Keys in really well with plasma guns. So um, have a look oh. at plasma guns when you're looking at your special weapons because yeah. they're the special weapon that has rapid fire. Yeah. So you can get loads of extra shots with Ooh. your plasma. That's horrible. Yes, it's really really good. Ouch. Okay. Really good. Uh, then we have take cover. Okay. Right. Yep. So improve the save characteristic of models in this unit by one. Mm -hmm. This cannot improve a model save to better than three plus. Okay. So would that stack with potentially um, the go to ground? So you can get uh, yes. cover on, on top of that Absolutely. as well? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and that's that's a good way of trying to keep your unit alive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, bear in mind, this is um, it doesn't really work on unit on vehicles. Yeah. Because they've already got like a three plus save. Um, and remember, you're affecting the save characteristic, not the roll. Yeah. So if you've yeah. got a tank and you give it this, it mm -hmm. literally does nothing. Yeah, true. It's not like it's going to change the save roll yeah. because your opponent's got high AP. Yeah. Literally does nothing. It affects the save characteristic. Yes, sure. Okay. So um, then we've got duty and honor. Okay. Increase your leadership and objective control uh, of models in the unit by one. That can come in handy. Super handy. Yeah. This is, of course, in the command phase that you do this. Yep. And you can do that before you, well, you do that before exactly. you score points. Exactly. So if you want to just basically take an objective off someone, you mm -hmm. need an extra few OC, mm -hmm. just pop that off. Yep. And you're, you're scoring extra points. Yeah, that is. Superb, whenever you need yeah, it. That's, that's yeah, that's really good. Really good. So which one do you think is the best out of all six? Uh, the best out of all six is probably going to end up being Take Aim, which take is aim. the ballistic skill modifier. Yeah, sure. Because uh, Guard is a very, very heavy shooting yeah. um, reliant yeah. army. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be the one you use the most, mm -hmm. I suspect. Um, but yeah, moving and take cover, there's all sorts of It gives you areas. flexibility, right, with the yeah. army in terms of what you can do, given yeah. increasing output in certain situations. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Uh, and as soon as you start to be able to stack things like rapid fire yeah, uh, cool. and um, ballistic skill on some units, which you can, yeah. that's sort of where you start seeing more damage output. Yeah, okay, that's that's really good. I really like mm. that rule. Um, mm. I think it's, would you say it's simpler than from 9th edition? 100%. Yeah. In 9th edition, there, was, uh, there were 18 different orders. Because yeah. your commissars could issue six different yeah. ones, your tanks six different ones. This is just flat out. You just have to remember six. Yeah. You only have to have tokens, which I recommend you do if you're playing yeah. guard. Um, you only have to have tokens of six different types. Cool. Um, and yeah, much easier to track. Nice. Yeah. However, compared to pre the previous edition, yeah. there's no sort of, if you give an order to one unit, it spreads out. Okay. This is right. a one for one yeah. situation. Yeah, and yeah. it will tell you on the data sheets, right? What, That's right? what officers and how many orders they can exactly, give Exactly, exactly. So cool. on your, yeah, it will have an, it'll have an orders section or voice of cool. command section that tells you how many orders you can give. Nice. Um, and to what units you can give them to. Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah, okay. that's very good. Detachment rule? Detachment rule, really simple. Uh, born soldiers. Nice. So each time an Astra Militari unit from your army remains stationary, mm -hmm. um, you get ranged weapons, get the lethal hits ability. Okay, right. So this is actually pretty decent. It's very good, yes. Especially when you think about, I mean, you might have better combinations than mine, but let's say last guns and you get three mm -hmm. shots each, mm -hmm. you can then wound a lot tougher targets. Yeah, absolutely. Because you're skipping one of them wound steps with the lethal hits keyword. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, that's um, pretty good. So yeah, it's really good. Uh, you do have to stay still for it, which okay. I think the play style of 10th edition isn't necessarily conducive towards Yeah. with the random cards and going in different places. Yeah, sure, sure. It really, really helps your, your output, mm. absolutely. Um, but bear in mind that if you ever fire during your opponent's turn, yep. you're never going to get this benefit. Okay. Okay, yep. because it's each time your unit remains stationary. Yes. Right? Okay. And you don't have an opportunity to remain stationary yeah, during yeah, your opponent's yeah, turn. Sure. Yeah, sure. Because sure. um, you don't get a movement phase from your yep. opponent's turn. Yep. Um, so Overwatch, you'd never get lethal hits on because of this. Okay, sense. yeah, that... that... I think that's probably a bit fair. That's a, right? It's a big change from the last edition. <laughs> yeah, where you, sure. where you, you just had to have not moved yeah, yeah. in the previous turn to get yeah. the benefit. Okay. All right. Well, we'll come back and we'll look at the enhancements. Sounds good. But before we continue, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, The Outpost. If you're looking for a great deals on your miniatures, paints and gaming supplies, we've got you covered. Their wide variety of exceptional service makes them the go-to destination for all hobby needs. So don't wait. Check out The Outpost today. Link in the description below. Okay, Mike, so what are the enhancements for the guard? Right, so the enhancements for the guard, we've got the Death Mask of Alanius. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, um, it's the cheapest one. It's only 10 points. Okay. Uh, and it's officer model only. Right. While the bearer's unit is battle shocked, subtract one from the OC characteristic of models in the unit instead of changing it to zero. 
Oh, okay. Right, so that would then interact with the um, order to give you plus one OC, right? So, so the only issue there is the unit's battle shocked, so you, they can't receive the uh, order. Okay. But what right. it does mean is that you can still hold objectives even if you're battle shocked. Okay. And right. With the number of models you can get in some of these units, mm -hmm. um, you're going to have a lot of OC on an objective if you still remain at, at one. Yeah. Uh, this stacks really well with the uh, command squad. Yes. Because you have, can have a banner in there, which also increases your OC by one. So they counter each so other. So they, yeah, they add, they basically add to each other because yeah. your what you have is every time you modify a characteristic, set, yeah. it's set its value. Yeah. If you set it to zero first mm -hmm. and then you add yeah. modifiers. So the unit will be zero because it's battle shocked. Mm -hmm. um, and then instead of being zero, the death mask makes it minus one. Right. Uh, and Caden shock troops uh, and the battle line units are OC2. So it'll be OC1 and then the banner will be Back OC2. OC2. Yeah. That's really good. Um, really and good. it's super cheap. So if you yeah, have points, good. you take mm. it. Yeah, definitely. All right, yeah. next one. Uh, drill Commander. Okay, right. All right, so uh, Officer Model Only. Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder, yeah. yeah. Drill, oh, I see, right, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, um, officer Model Only. <laughs> right. While the bear is leading a unit, yeah. each time a model in that unit makes a ranged attack, Yeah. if that unit remains stationary, Okay. Critical hits are scored on fives. So that's lethal hits on fives with the so detachment Lethal roll. hits on fives with the detachment rule. Uh, stacks quite well with the um, Castellan, the okay. Canadian Castellan, because yeah, sure. he gives your unit sustained hits one. Oh. So now you could have a unit that remains stationary and gets both lethal and sustained hits on fives, fives. to hit. That's yeah. cheeky. Yeah, it's okay. pretty cheeky. That's the best combo, I think, that's in there. And yeah. there's a specific loadout I'd, I'd give that unit, if, uh, and I'll talk about that later. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. That's a really good one. What's the third one? Kurov's Aquila. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, this is officer model only. They're all officer model only. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stop saying that. Yep. <laughs> uh, once per battle, just after your opponent uses a stratagem, you can use this enhancement. If you do, the CP cost of that stratagem is increased by one um, for future uses throughout the game. Okay. That's very powerful. Yes, it's also very expensive for guard. It's 40 points. Oh, wow. Stands, oh. Um, which is almost the same as a unit. But, but so it's very good. I was going to say, so a lot of people I'm seeing are taking the Calidus Assassin. Yes. Which is 110 points for that model, if I'm right. Yes. So people are paying 110 points tax for that rule specifically. Yeah. I think guard it's 115. But 115. Before someone comments, but yeah. Oh, okay, right, yeah. yeah. It's around that mark, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. But you're only going to pay forty. I see what you're saying. It's it's a squad. Yeah. But if if if, if you were going to exactly yeah exactly. If, I, if, I think it's worth it. Yeah, I think I think it's definitely worth it because making your opponent have to pay one mm. CP high. I mean, when there's I mean the captains in Space Marines, they have that yeah. rule where it, they can reduce the stratagem to zero. Yeah. A lot of armies have that rules. Like yes. I've seen. Yeah. But being able to make them have to still pay for stuff. Yeah. It's really strong. I think it's a very, very strong ability. Really strong. Like that. Um, and I would, yeah, I would definitely use this. Yeah. Uh, if I could. Yeah. Good. The only place I wouldn't is if like, I'd have to take out too many units just to squeeze okay. it in. Yeah, sure. But it's pretty much an auto-include. Awesome. Okay. What's the last one, mate? The last one is Grand Strategist. So me. This, yeah. Yeah. You. Uh, in your command phase, you can issue uh, an extra order with that, that officer. Oh, that's great. It's, it's good. It's good. Uh, I think infantry-wise, you've probably got enough orders flying around anyway. Yeah, sure. Yeah. This is, if you're taking a tank commander, this is excellent for the tank commander. Yeah. Because normal officers in the guard can't issue orders to tanks. Okay, the right. The tank commander can, but as a base, the tank commander only issues one order. Okay, so... Not great. No, and you're probably going to be running... Well, once, if you're taking a tank commander, you probably want to run more than... Yeah, one other tank. You want one other tank, so yeah. Yeah, um, yeah okay. Right, yeah, so I, I, I see that. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Well, there's four really good stratagems, I think. So, not yeah, enhancements, enhancements yeah. sorry. Yeah, which, one, which one's the best, do you think? Definitely Curl's Aquila. Yeah. Um, for the CP yeah. cost. Um, the Battle Shock thing's okay. It's all right. You, you only it? take it if you've got the 10 points. Uh, Dual Commander doesn't work a lot because okay. in order to stay still, you're going to need to have a it's target all the time. Right, yeah. But there is one particular unit I think it works really, really well on. Okay. Which we'll talk about. Um, and Grand Strategist is an auto-include on a tank commander. Yeah. Um, but it does get the tank commander very expensive, as we'll see. Right, say. okay, uh, okay. So you probably look at another avenue for yeah. getting orders on your vehicles. Sure thing, sure thing. Okay, well, should we look at some stratagems? Yeah, sounds good. 
Let's take a moment to appreciate Colorforge, our fantastic sponsor. Their range of spray paints has become our go-to for making our miniatures come to life quickly and efficiently. The quality and variety of colors they offer are truly unmatched, providing a smooth application for stunning effects every time. Check out Colorforge for your next hobby project. Okay, so let's look at some stratagems. So what have we got for the Astra Militarum? So this one's probably one of the most, um, it's the most interesting, it's the most different one. Right. Uh, this is reinforcements. It's okay. two command points. Use it in any phase when a regiment unit has just been destroyed. Right. And you can use it on that unit even though that unit has just been destroyed. Normally you can't use a stratagem on a unit that's not on the table. But this one specifically states you can. This one states you can. Nice. Um, you add a new unit to your army, identical to your destroyed one. Right. Um, in strategic reserves. Yep. At its starting strength and with its, all of its wounds remaining. So that's pretty strong. Um, yeah. You can bring back like 20 Cadians. Yeah. You can bring back Kassikin. Kassikin, nice. So you bring back a Kassikin unit, it's pretty strong. Are they still big baddies? I know we'll touch on them later, but... Yeah, I think they're still good. Yeah. I think they're still good, definitely. Um, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, good stratagem. Yeah, it's, really good uh, stratagem. I know it's 2 CP, strong. but it's de yeah. you, spending command points to bring back points of an army is, yes. is, is really... For um, free. For free is, is definitely... It's a, it's a great rule. <laughs> it's yes, it's it's certainly something. Yeah. Um, cool. Now, yeah. Next okay. one. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Next one is fields of fire. Okay. So two command points again. It's okay. expensive. We're getting right. expensive. Yeah. Shooting phase: one regiment or squadron unit that's not been selected to shoot yet. Right. After you've resolved your attacks with that unit, you can select one enemy unit that you targeted. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to have hit them. Right. Okay. Okay. And then each time a friendly regiment or squadron model makes an attack against them until the end of the phase, you get um, plus one to your AP. Oh no! Unless your unit's battle shocked. Oh no! <laughs> so um, that's pretty horrifying. Yeah. I mean, the best use on this is obviously mortars. Yeah. Because oh, your mortars yeah. can just target something. Yeah. You don't have to hit it. Sure. Um, and then the rest of your stuff that can see them gets their extra AP. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Ow! It's it's really good. But it is two command points. So this is probably where you slot in someone like Ursula Creed. Okay. To right. make it free. Ah, yes. Okay. I was going to say, what does she do? But yeah, I mean, already we've seen two stratagems that are two CP. So it's mm. this with CP being a bit rarer in 10th. Yeah. Yep. I guess you're going to decide which one's more worth it for yeah. the army. But if you, as you say, Absolutely. if you take an Ursula Creed, you could probably use both. Um, um, yes. Uh, we'll talk about Ursula Creed more, but you can't use reinforcements with Ursula Creed. Ah, uh, okay. Because the unit's not on the table, it's dead. Right, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, cool. I know some people have used right. it, but that's not how it should be used. Okay, right. technically, they're not a legal target for that ability. Yeah, sure. Because they're dead. Sure. I'm glad uh, we clarified that. Yes. Uh, what's the next one then, mate? Uh, suppression fire. Okay, does it suppress people? Uh, yes, it does. Nice. So it's an Astra Militarum infantry unit. So that's anything. Okay. Cool, yeah. It could even be, you know, rattlings or something. Um, oh. So, yeah, anything that's infantry uh, that hasn't shot yet, and one enemy vehicle, sorry, one enemy unit that's not a monster or vehicle. Okay. That enemy unit, if it's hit by your unit, is minus one to its hit rolls. Yeah, so okay. if you fire your infantry unit, let's say you've got some Cadian shock troops that can't yep. really damage an enemy unit, mm -hmm. uh, and you just want them to be minus one to hit, one CP, uh, yep. and, and that's that. Does that last for, is that counting towards combat as well? Yeah, it's until the end of your opponent's next turn. Okay, right, that has a bit more play to it. I was going to yeah. say because... Um, suppressors for space marines mm. have a similar rule, right? Um, but I'm not too sure whether or not theirs works in combat as well. So I wanted oh, okay. to double check see if it yep. was a, a combat thing that yep. could happen. It's just so all of their attacks. I think that's really useful, actually. I I think so too. I think it's going to be difficult deciding when you want to use the one CP on that. When you've got when other, you've got other ones, yeah, and even sure. some core stratagems like grenades, yeah, just seem a bit better than this. This is the big dilemma out. I'm finding in tenth. Yeah, like, well, there is just having the six stratagems. Mm. A lot of the times, the three or four of them are, yeah. are pretty good, right? Yeah. So, and then the core strats, you've got a big chunk of them that are really yeah. viable. Absolutely. So that it's CP management is key in tenth edition, yes. and we've seen some pretty good ones here. So, what's the fourth one, mate? Fourth one is expert bombardiers. Okay. Okay. So basically, one CP start your shooting phase. You pick one of your guys, a unit that has a vox caster in it. Okay and an enemy unit they can see. Each time an Astra Militarum unit with an indirect fire weapon targets that unit, mm -hmm. uh, plus one to hit. Ow. Mm. Okay. Um, <laughs> mm. 
Mm. I don't like indirect. <laughs> and this works even if they're visible to the indirect unit. So you could so, have a basilisk yeah, that sure. normally hits on a four plus. Mm -hmm. You could increase its ballistic skill with the order, yeah, three plus. Yeah. And then it could move to get line of sight uh, and it would hit on twos. Ow. It would hit on twos anyway because it's heavy. It yeah, sure, still. sure. Um, but this just means you can stack and, and do all sorts. Okay, well, that's a really, really powerful handy. ability. Yeah. Um, I think guard tend to lean into having at least one unit of indirect, right? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So I think that's key, uh, a key stratagem, again. Yeah, um, it's good. It's good. I think it's a shame that there's quite a lot in the guard book that leans into indirect fire. Yeah, Because sure. I'd like to have seen a bit more support for other stuff. Yep. Um, though I suspect down the line we'll probably see dedicated detachments to well, yeah, arms I, of... Yeah. Uh, I think that would be cool, like just having different like ways to play your regiment or mm. the way that you're going to build mm. your um, your army. Mm. It would be pretty cool to see different different modes of the guard. But um, yeah. what's the fifth one then, mate? Uh, inspired command. Okay. I've used this quite a bit, actually. Yeah. So what this is, is in your opponent's command phase, mm -hmm. you can spend one command point to issue an order with one of your officers. Oh, so it's an out of phase order. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. So after maybe you shot with your unit mm -hmm. and it comes to your opponent's turn, you're like, oh, my unit's going to get shot. I'm going to spend one point one command point, and I'm going to issue take cover to my unit, so okay. it has plus one to its save. So why would you play that, though, instead of go to ground or something? Let, maybe if, it, obviously, the opponent has ignores cover. Yes, yeah, so your opponent could have ignores cover. Yeah. There's probably going to be angles where you're going to get cover anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so this just affects your base characteristic. Okay, so right. It is, so it's, it is better okay. yeah, yeah. go to ground, um, but you could certainly use both if you really wanted yeah, to keep sure. them alive. Um, great on Kasakin and mm -hmm. Scions, because they're already on a four at base save. Yeah, so that's you really suddenly good. get this infantry to a three up base save, and then, and then you could have cover up. as well. Exactly, so they become quite difficult to shift. Yeah, that um, is really even good. though they're just normal human dudes. Yeah, sure, sure, nice. Yeah, and the last one. The last one is armored might. Two command points in the shooting phase. You can reduce the incoming damage by one for your vehicle. There's three two CP strats for guards. Three two CP strats. It's expensive. It's an expensive world okay. out there. Um, <laughs> But I have to say, I'd probably add the grenade stratagem to their to their card, basically. Right, because so you... many of them can have grenades. Yeah. And when you've got these little infantry squads, that is sometimes the best damage they can do, is throwing that grenade and doing mortal wounds. Well, yeah, mortal wounds are extremely powerful. So being able to do that yeah. with an infantry squad, yeah, I think, I, I agree with you. I think having that is going to be definitely used more than most of them yes. strats. Yeah. Um, so which one do you think is, is the best one, though, out, out of those six? Ooh, I think the best one has to be Fields of Fire for the extra AP. For the extra AP, yeah, sure. You, know, you pick one enemy unit, it's a big bad maybe, a bad mm -hmm. one's there, maybe Magnus. Yeah. And then the rest of your force is going to get an extra AP against them. Yeah. Um, the only downside to this is it is only your regiment and squadrons that are going to get the benefit. Yeah. So any characters won't get it, like your tank commanders. Yeah, sure. Um, sure. And your aircraft won't get it either because they're neither of those two, mm -hmm. two things. But um, otherwise, it's, I mean, it's super useful, that I extra mean, AP. I mean, giving last guns an AP. Exactly. When you could do the order for extra shots. Exactly. You, you really are putting some hurt yeah. down. Um, I've so done yeah. a combo before where yeah. I've got um, plasma guns to AP5. Oh, my um, And plasma guns to AP3 with Kasakin. <sighs> uh, there's, yeah, it's cool. AP stacking is really useful. Yeah, it's really AP5, useful. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Well, yeah, that's some really good stratagems. Mm -hmm. um, should we move on and look at some of the units? Yeah, let's do it. All right. With the release of Warhammer 40,000 10th edition, at Vanguard Tactics, we've put together the perfect course for you. If you're already playing 9th edition, but you want to seamlessly transition into the new edition, leave behind everything you know about 9th and understand everything you need to know about 10th, then this short course is going to be ideal. We break down all the complexities and give you step-by-step -step guidance on how to really make the most from 10th edition. We're going to help you understand all the basics of the game and then some top tips along the way to help you really get the most from your army and your playing experience. And if that's something you want to do and get signed up on our short course which you can study in your own time, then do check out the links below and get signed up to our Accelerator program. Okay, Mike. So, let's look at some units. So, what's the first unit that you've picked? I mean, we have to talk about him. The Lord Solar this man here. Leontus. Oh. Um, so mine that you'll you'll see is a conversion, a Talan conversion. He's beautiful. Thank you. He is Thank beautiful. you. I made him actually before the model came out. Okay. Um, so when I'd seen it, it was coming. I was going to say the model came out. You have foresight or something. No. I knew he was coming. So they revealed out. the model. 
but yeah. I hadn't seen like the size. Oh, okay. They've done it on all the previews, yeah. and mine's on the wrong base size. But it's a scenic base, so I can't easily change it. Anyway. Okay. Um, I know that for future. Yeah, Leontis is on a really big base. Yep. Uh, and he's an auto include for a guard army. Yeah. Uh, look, if you're going to start a guard army, you need this guy. So this is the same as Knight Fedition. This is <laughs> uh, pretty much. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Okay. You need this guy. What does this bad man do? So um, there's three main things here. So the first one is it start your command points, you get a command point. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. Great. So straight up, we know our stratagems are very expensive. Yeah. This guy's making them a little bit easier to, to manage. Right. Bear in mind, this won't stack with discarding a card at the end of the turn, like a tactical mission. Okay. You can only so, get one per battle round. But he's guaranteeing you exactly. the extra CP, which is really, really, really good. Yeah. yeah. Really, really strong. Uh, then uh, he's got another ability, the Collegiate Astralex. So after, after you've rolled off first turn, yep. you can redeploy three of units and you can put them in strat reserve as well for okay. free. Right. Um, yeah. Is there a range on that or just any unit? It's just, just three of your units. Okay. Redeploy them. Right. So if things aren't, if you want first turn, you roll, you get second turn, you go, right, mm -hmm. I need to make sure that these things are going to survive. Yep. Put them in strat reserve or just move them into somewhere that's yeah. a bit more advantageous. Absolutely. Nice. Super, super powerful. I mean, those two combined. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Really, 100%. really good. Uh, and this guy is a leader. Okay. He can join um, the, the Rough Riders, obviously. Because he's on our horses. Yeah. Um, Cadian Shock Troops. Yeah. Kasakin. Right. And a bunch of the other infantry types. Your Catachans, Death Corps, Kree, sure. your infantry squad, that kind of thing. Um, okay. So here's the real kicker with this guy. Mm -hmm. He can issue three orders. Oh, wow. Okay. To Astra Militarum units. So that's vehicles and infantry. That is everything that has the Astra Militarum keyword. Wow. Anything. He's the only one that can issue orders to any of the um, auxilia, the abhumans as they call them, oh, like okay. the ratlings, the yeah. ogrin. He's the only one that can issue orders to titanic um, vehicles like the bane blade. He could issue it to three bane blades <laughs> oh, if you God. wanted. He can issue it to aircraft. Right. All right, yeah. and I do have a list planned for that. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> and it's absolutely horrific, guys. Just want to put it out there. Well, right. It's not that bad. It's pretty, pretty oh. jokes, though. Um, so you have to take this guy if you're playing guard, unfortunately. Unfortunately? Well, I mean, he's great, me. but it's a bit unfortunate that he is an auto-include. Because when, okay. when we're balancing the game, we don't really want auto-includes. Yeah, sure. But he's sure. just so yeah. powerful. Yeah. You have to. And he has the low price tag at the moment of 135. He's the same as Dante. He's so good. He's so good. What the? Every list, you stick him in. Um, has to be a Warlord, though. So if you have other plans for Warlords, you can't take him. I, d I guess it doesn't really matter, right? No, it's not too much of an issue. No. It's not too much of an issue. Okay. Um, it's but, thematic, um, so yeah, sure. Yeah. I like that. But, yeah. Okay. Cool. You're taking so him. You're taking him. You're taking him. Who's next? Uh, Ursula Creed is next. Um, also, I think he's 125, not 135. Oh, okay. So he's, cool. he's even cheaper than, right. than Dante. <laughs> right. Anyway. Okay. So Creed, yeah, um, she's great. She's cheaper than a normal Castellan. Sure, it's fifty-five points. Fifty-five points. Wait, uh, she's also an auto include. Oh no, what does she do, Mike? Um, so if you can, if she's leading a unit, yeah, that unit can be affected up to two different orders at the same time. Oh, okay. okay, we'll get to. So him this is where there. the rapid fire, yeah, and yeah. the plus one ballistic skills, great. Yeah, um, she can lead Cadians, infantry squads, and Kasakin. She can go with Kasakin. She can go with Kasakin. Um, I don't think that's the way you'd run her, though. Oh, okay. But it is right, where you trust him. You could run her that way. Okay. Um, but yeah, some of the other units kind of need a transport, or else mm -hmm. they get sort of destroyed by indirect and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so she's also got Tactical Genius. Once per battle round, one unit from your army within 12 inches of this model can be targeted with a stratagem for zero command points. Okay. Even if another unit in your army has been targeted by that stratagem this phase. But not reinforcements. But not reinforcements because that's not a unit within 12 inches. They're literally they off, off the, the board. board. Yeah. You can't use it on reinforcements. Stop it. Yeah. Um, sure. But you could potentially make two of your vehicles minus mm -hmm. one damage in the shooting phase. Okay. I really like this for potentially double grenades. That'd oh, be quite no. nice in that yeah. turn where you need it. Yeah, sure. But I think the best use for her every turn is doing fields of fire. Yeah. Um, to increase your AP across the board against one enemy target. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. That's that's really powerful. I think for 55 points, mate. And she's I'm a bargain. 
Absolute yeah. bargain. She's saving you two command points a turn. Yeah. You roll her in with Leontus as well, and he's getting you another command point a turn. Yeah. yeah. You're doing whatever you That's want. A bargain bucket, right? Doing there. whatever you want, and she issues two orders to regiment units. So. Okay, so that's five orders if you go with that, and um, that you can do. Yeah, that's really Great. really good. And then obviously she can be affected by two her her, her, her unit. Her yeah, unit. Exactly. So, okay, right, great, lovely, super. Right, next super. one. Super. Uh, so this little guy, Cadian Castellan. Okay. Um, only issues one order. Okay. Uh, gives your unit sustained hits one. Great. So that was where we were talking about the combo exactly. before with the so, enhancement. Exactly. Nice. So you want to take this guy um, with that combo. Yep. Um, it's not an auto include. This is just like a combo you could do. Cool. cool. Just, just to qualify that. Um, more expensive than Creed, funnily enough. How many points? Um, I think 65. Why is he more than Creed? Well, I, I, I'm not sure, if I'm honest. But uh, he gives your unit full back special. and shoot. Full back and shoot? Full back and shoot, which is pretty big for guard. Okay, right. Uh, and sustained one. Okay, it's nothing to laugh about, really, no, is it? Not at all. It's pretty decent. Can join Cadian's infantry squads, Cassican. Okay, so you probably, right. I mean, putting in with a big blob of 20 Cadians. Yeah, so here's the combo. Yeah, I hit, I yeah. hit you with it now. Yeah. Um, so this guy with the drill commander, yep. the fives, yep. explode and are lethal. Mm -hmm. You drop him in an infantry squad yep. that also has a platoon command squad attached. Okay. And then in the infantry squad, you put two mortar teams in there. Right. Out of the 20. Yeah. Two more teams in there. You can take a sniper rifle or whatever you want. Sure. Um, and then the, the platoon command squad can have another mortar team in it. So it's three. So you've got three mortars. 20 guys. Plus a bunch of dudes um, with exploding fives and lethal on fives. And they're going to be able to remain stationary most of the game because they're mortars. That's horrific. So that's pretty good. Exploding fives and mortars. Yeah, it's great. It's just like... The best thing about it is that the mortar team is quite fragile. The normal heavy weapon yeah, squad sure, is yeah. pretty fragile. Yeah. So having the ablative wounds of the 20 bodies mm -hmm. helps you get the most out of it. Nice. nice. That's a really strong combo. Yeah. It's All really right. cool. Really cool. Great. Next one. Primaris Psyker. Ooh. This okay. guy's here because of his mad amount of damage. Do um, damage? <laughs> yeah, he does damage. He also, at the start of your opponent's shooting phase, on a 2 plus gives your unit a 4 plus invulnerable save. Stop it. Yeah. So you could give a guard squad a four up involve. Yeah, against shooting. It's great. Oh my god. And a four up for an against Only like, against psychic. shooting. Yeah, it's just in the shooting phase. Oh, okay. This happens. Yeah, it doesn't okay. work in combat. Um, right, so here's the damage. Right. So you supercharge this psychic maelstrom. Yeah. And it becomes hazardous. Right. But you overcharge some plasma guns in your squad. So if you do roll any hazardous, you kill a guard yep. instead. Smart. Um, blast, devastating wounds. Okay. D6 plus three shots. Threes to hit. Right. So if you do the order on the squad for plus one ballistic skill, it's twos yeah. to hit. Strength six, AP two, two damage. What the hell? What's this guy shooting at his brain? He is just annihilating space marines. It's just with a his, mind like, noob. Powers. It's basically <laughs> Sidious. He's Darth Sidious. He's Darth Sidious. <laughs> He's going there. Unlimited power with his blast, devastating wounds. Please, Mike, make a Hit primary striker look like Darth Sidious. I mean, to be honest, he kind of almost already does. Yeah, you need to put a hood on him. Um, but yeah. I'll see put, what I can put a hood do. on him and just paint his robes black. I'll see what I can do. Sweet. See what I can right. Do. I'll hold you to that. All right. Um, <laughs> let's have a look at uh, another character. Yep. Next unit I want to look at is the tank commander. Okay. okay. What does he do? So this is the only unit, other than Solar Leontis, yep. that can issue orders to squadron units. So that's your vehicles, right? Pretty much. Yeah, okay. that's your vehicles. Um, this guy can issue one order to squadron units. Okay. Not going to lie, a little bit sad. Yeah, sure. He probably should be able to issue two. Yeah. This guy is a whopping 240-odd points. Ah. If you want to take him. That's pretty... Well, you said earlier about the enhancement, right? Yes. So the enhancement, what was it called? Drill? Um, so the enhancement's Grand Strategist. Grand Strategist. You should know, because that's you. Sorry, yeah. That's um, true, yeah. But it's 15 points. Okay. So you're putting this guy at 255-ish um, okay. to be able to do two orders. Right. Yeah, sure. No, I agree with you. There. It, it's a tough call, right? It's yeah. a lot of points. Um, but does he is he is he worth it though in terms of his output? What what else does so he give you? What he gives you, so he can issue orders at twelve inches. That's one of his abilities. Okay, all right, but nice. Normally, only be able to issue one order at twelve inches. It's it's not really it's not a great data sheet ability to have. Cool. Yeah. Um, his other one though is when he's destroyed on a two plus, um, it can shoot. 
Well, you know you're rolling ones with that then, don't you? It, yeah. Um, I mean, that's great. <laughs> like, shooting on death with a full tank on a two plus. Oh, yeah. That was the awesome. bane of my existence in ninth edition. Awesome. Um, yeah. But I'd rather have an ability that is effective while my unit's alive. Yeah, sure. Especially in this edition where tanks are so hard to kill anyway. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, points-wise, he's mm -hmm. already quite hefty. Yes. Um, and then, obviously, if you lose him, you not get it. You yeah. really only get one rule out of him. Exactly. Um, um, it's probably worth it at this venture to talk about the Lehman Rust profile. Let's, yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, so we're not going to look at these stats again later when we cover other Lehman Rusts. Yeah. But it's a 10-inch move. Okay. It's toughness 11. Nice. Pretty okay. good. So yeah. most melters, there's a lot of strength 10 weapons out there. Yeah. Uh, two plus save. Okay. So that's really tough. The yeah. Two plus save. Two I mean, save, yeah. it is literally just a big block of iron. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. I don't know what the thickness is on this armor, but it's probably pretty thick. I'm going to go with three millimeters. Three millimeters. Cool. Yeah. Um, unless it's a rogue dawn where there's a hole underneath the model. Then it's four millimeters. Then it's right. Okay. Um, so the tech commander, <laughs> the t Lehman Russ is, yeah, two plus save, 13 wounds. Nice. Nice. Leadership 7 plus, OC 3. Okay, right. Well, obviously, the important factor with this data sheet is its toughness and its durability, right? Exactly. So, um, T11, 2 plus save, 13 wounds. Cool. Yeah, cool. it's not a pushover. It's not a pushover at all. No. Right, so 2 plus save, very, very useful. Yep. Very good, and that's what all of the Russes have. The tank commander can take any of the main weapons from the other Russes. Cool. So, you've got those options. However, you'll find each of the other Lehman Russes mm -hmm. that has a specific turret weapon also has its own data sheet, data card, okay, which right. has an ability on it. Right. And nice. we'll cover a few of those later. So one question I have, can he lead Lehman Russes? No, there's no leading. Okay. Uh, that's right. not an option. So that is maybe a weakness of the guy as well, is he can just be targeted. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Um, that would be hilarious. Imagine just a tank commander. That would be a, so funny. One of Lehman Russes. Um, it's like old one eye with his Carnifex group, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be hilarious. I want that to happen. That would be pretty funny. Yeah. All right. Well, it would be very strong because he could then issue orders to himself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, true. Yeah. Uh, do you want to run over the Lehman Russes now? Yeah, can do. Yeah, can do. Just run yeah, over them. Let, let, let me find the. Uh, let me find the cards. Yeah, we have a hefty amount You've of cards. You've thrown me out of, uh, out of pocket. order here. Here. So the first and my favourite of these. Right. is the Lehman Russ Exterminator. Ooh, is this the one with the gap? Held that in front of my face there. Um, so <laughs> if this is the one with the auto cannons. Oh, so okay. Like I, I don't think I've ever on. actually seen the model. I don't this. think anyone has. No. Um, this was quite a rare one. Okay. However, I like it because it's got an awesome ability. So I'll go through its main weapon. Yep. Exterminator auto cannon. Okay, right, yep. Keep it simple. 48 inch range. Nice. Rapid fire four. Yep. Twin linked. Okay. I keep forgetting that it's twin linked when I use it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, so, four shots base, right. which means eight shots at 24 inches. Yep. Hits on fours. Cool. With an order, obviously, threes. Threes. Strength nine, AP one, three damage. Okay, right. So, this is a heavy infantry killer. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Right. I like it's it. It's not bad. The three damage comes in a lot. If yep. you've used uh, Fields of Fire already on an enemy unit. AP. Then this will be AP two damage three, which starts to then that's do when, a lot yeah, of damage. Yeah, because then terminate. Let's look at terminators because that's a prime target yeah. for them, right? Yeah. So they would be wounded them on threes, twin linked. Yeah. AP two if you use fields of fire. So terminators yeah. would go up to their four ups. Yeah. So yeah, that's great because then yeah. every every one that goes through is killing the terminator. Yeah. Strong. Okay. So the, the ability of this guy is withering hail. In your shooting phase, after this model is shot, select one enemy unit hit by one or more of those attacks made by its exterminator auto cannon. Okay. All right. Until the end of the phase, each time a friendly Astra Militarum unit makes an attack that targets that unit, you increase the AP characteristic of that attack by one. The same enemy unit can only be affected by this ability once per phase. So it's like the storm speed of Hellstrike. Basically the same as that. Yep. yep. So I shoot something, everything else gets an extra AP against it. This isn't locked to regiment and squadron. This is everything. Does that... Is that cumulative with the Field other fire? Yes. So then people can get plus two AP against yes. a certain unit. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? Ow. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's 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 amazing, actually. Yeah. And that's how I got some of these guys to AP five plasma and AP two or three Mike. last guns. It's AP really oh, no. good. Really good. AP two really good. last guns is just horrific. Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. Cool. Right. I like him. Strong, like him. Yeah. Really good um, synergy. How unit. many points are these roughly? Uh, this guy is 190 ish. Okay. Most of them, okay. most of the Russes are about 200 ish. 
Okay, cool. Um, the Demolish is 240 odd. And 220, still, 220. They're only Demolish, single yeah. models, right? Single so models. Can't take them in squad. That's right. That's right. Okay. So remember in one edition, you could take them in units, right? Yeah, you could, yeah. 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 That's hilarious. Uh, we've, we've got the Battle Tank next. Okay, yeah. Um, so this is a 48-inch range gun, D6 plus 3, strength 10, AP1, 3 damage. Nice. Um, this guy rerolls hit rolls of 1. Okay. Against targets on objective markers, we roll all hit rolls. Nice. Pretty, pretty powerful. It's not bad. The AP kind of lets it down. But then if you start you've comboing got, it with other stuff. Exactly. You've got consistency with the rerolls. Okay. Perfect. So not a bad offering. Not yeah, bad yeah, option. definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. Um, the Demolisher. Okay, right. Hey, this one's quite popular. Yep. Um, so the gun is 24 inch range, so a lot shorter. D6 mm -hmm. plus three shots, usual four at ballistic skill, strength 14. Right. AP3, D6 damage. So this is the, I know I keep referring to Space Marines, but that's my knowledge pattern yeah. here. This is the Vindicator. This is like vindicator. a Vindicator, yeah. Right. Yeah, like a Vindicator. Um, this guy can shoot enemy units within engagement range of it with its blast weapon. Wow. Demolisher cannon. Ow. So normally you can't, but yep. in this case you can. And it ignores the penalty to its hit, hit rolls. Okay, so you can't lock it in combat and stop it from shooting you. That's right. Um, the only way to stop it is to blow it up. Yeah. Okay, nice. It's cool. I really like it. I can see why it's the most expensive one, and it's some of the highest strength weapons that we've yeah. got in the, in the index. Yeah, strength 14 is amazing because exactly. I think there's only one model in the game that's toughness 14, right? Which is I think the so. monolith. Yes. I'm testing you. Not yeah, it might be the Stomper as well. But oh, the Stomper. It might be yeah, the yeah, 13. Sure. sure. Uh, we then got the Vanquisher. This isn't the Gatling gun, it's the long. This is the long gun. Cool. Yep. yep. Cool. So that is heavy. Yep. Uh, one shot, strength 18, AP4, D6 plus 6 damage. Ow. Yeah, so it's, it is only a single shot. Yeah, yeah, th that's. Yeah. And a hit on fours, I'm assuming. Hit on fours. Yeah, can't it get is it heavy to, though. So we can get it to twos. With twos potentially. Potentially. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's rule is that you can reroll wounds uh, against monsters and vehicles with the main cannon. Okay, right. It's all right. It's all right. It's I all right. probably wouldn't take that one. Doesn't ignore invulnerable saves. Yeah, I probably wouldn't end so, up taking it. If yeah. I'm honest, it doesn't have dev wounds either. Devastating wounds either. So yeah, um, so no devastating wounds on that means it's not going to get the mortals through. I'm yeah, I, I don't think it's really a contender for one. No, punishes next. Gatling cannon. Okay, everybody loves this. I mean, it's very cool. It's very forty k. Yeah. Um, this has got twenty shots. Okay. Uh, strength 6, AP 0, 1 damage at 24-inch okay. range. Right, okay. However, if it shoots its main cannon against an enemy unit that is not a monster or vehicle, mm -hmm. it gains devastating wounds on that cannon. Okay, right. So, so you kind of got these 20 shots, a reasonable amount of sixes to come out of that. Yeah, you're, you're probably going to get a few. Um, I mean... Just the fact that I'm looking at all these guns now and all these vehicles, and I'm thinking, well, these can all go up to AP2. Like, even if they're like yeah. AP0, they can literally get AP very yeah. easily. Absolutely. Um, and I think, I mean, having AP on 20 shots at strength it's six, pretty good. you are killing, like, you are picking Marines up. Yeah. Like, that's, yeah. that's crazy. It's really good. Crazy good. good. I like that. Uh, we then have the all time favorite, the executioner, the executioner right. very popular in the previous edition. Yep. Um, this guy packs a punch, so this is blast and then hazardous if you do the overcharge. So this is the plasma okay. cannon. This is the plasma cannon one, cool. the executioner. This guy. That's right. D6 plus three shots, 36 inch range. Strength eight, AP three, flat three damage. Cheeky. High AP, high damage. Again, you could get this to AP five if you really wanted to. I think I want to. Um, yeah, if it targets a unit that's below half strength, you get plus one to hit. It's a nice way of getting plus one to hit okay. against something, yeah? yeah so, sure. sure. So it's all right. It's all right. I mean, the thing is, the damage is really strong. The AP is really strong. So consistently, this is going to kill your yeah, yeah, yeah. elite yeah. En enemy infantry. Last one. Eradicator. Yep. This is a Nova cannon. So it's like the square barrel with the square muzzle with the I don't think I've ever seen this it. one either. But it's got that. that oh, gun. okay. Yeah, cool, yeah. cool. Um, so this one can use its ranged. It's um, Nova cannon in combat, just like the just Demolisher. Like Demolisher. Exactly one. the same sure. special rule as the Demolisher. Um, however... Um, it's 36 inch range, blast, ignores cover, mm -hmm. um, D3 plus 6 shots, okay. so more consistent shots, yep. strength 7, AP1, 2 damage. Okay, right, again... The, the thing I, is, is, some of these are very similar. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I don't see the use for that one when you have other ones that could do that better. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, okay. So what are the top two you're probably going to use? Um, you're probably mostly going to see the Demolisher and the Executioner. The Auto Cannon one. Well, I rate the Auto Cannon more. Yeah. Um, but I think the popular opinion would be the Plasma. Okay. I think the Auto Cannon is really useful for getting the rest of your army to that higher AP. Well, I think having... And its own damage is not bad as well. Well, this is the thing. I think having less AP across the board in the game, mm -hmm. um, I think it's something that is definitely needed. Yeah. Um, and being able to make most some of your weapons, even AP1, mm -hmm. is, is great. Yeah, I agree. It's great. I agree. So, yeah. No, I like that, mate. All right, well, should we have a look at some more units? What yeah. What have we got next? Yep. Cadian Command Squad. Okay. Staple. So the Cadian Command Squad um, is basically you've got your officer yeah. and you've got your four people with them. Okay. Only the officer has the character keyword. Okay, so assassinate, you're only giving away one. Yeah, just one, one. it's just the one character in there. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the unit can come with the banner, which increases OC, mm -hmm. uh, a medic for a six up field of pain, and a master box to, to let your officer unit, officer models in the unit issue orders at 24 inches. Cool. Which is really strong because uh, as far as I can see, it works with people like Solar yep, sure. um, and Creed. Um, while their ability is that the unit they're in ignores modifiers. Right. Okay, except saving ones. Okay, well, that's pretty pretty strong. Yeah, exactly. So your move won't be modified. Yeah. I'm pretty sure even if you battle shot, your OC won't change. Well, that's a characteristic, by this. right? Yeah, exactly. So, it's a characteristic. Yeah. So that's pretty mad. Yeah. Um, you can attach this unit to... Uh, an infantry squad, sorry, mm -hmm. Cadian shock troops for this one, but there's a platoon, there's a platoon command squad for the infantry squad. squad. Um, so you can have these five and then yeah. 20 Cadian shock troops. Okay, and what do the Cadian shock troops do? These guys um, have what we refer to as sticky objectives. Right, so, um, pretty good. If they control an objective in your command phase, you can move away from it yep. and you still count as holding it. Right. So that's what these guys do. So what you want is like this big brick of them with the command squad, mm -hmm. maybe Creed in there. Um, and these guys will move up the board, securing objectives for you. Okay. Okay. So why take a big brick, though, if they've got sticky objectives? Isn't that the design of having a big brick to just hold an objective rather than move off it? Would you rather? Would it be better to take smaller units? You could take some smaller units yeah. if you wanted, maybe have one on the backfield. Cool. You absolutely could do that. Um, these guys, the 20-person brick makes them pretty survivable against indirect depends what it okay. is right obviously yeah, sure. desolation marines are very good at killing hordes yeah they'd probably be very good at killing this yeah um but other stuff 10 might run away or be easily battle shocked yeah sure these guys are not yeah and then of course having the command squad um you get more out of the command squad if you've got 20 in the unit yeah so course. as you yeah. say you probably you, you could run a single 10 shock troops without a just to take advantage of that sticky but exactly. i think if you Obviously, with the command squad, the benefit yeah. of that is to put it into a big brick. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. But you, you could run them that way. Yeah, definitely. Sure. Definitely. Um, yes. Cadians have uh, a Voxcaster. So there's a lot of data sheets that have Voxcasters. Yeah. If you use a stratagem on them, um, then uh, you get a CP back on a 5 plus. Okay. So CP uh, refund. A 4 plus if there's an officer model within 6. Okay. So if they've got the Cadian command squad in the unit, yep. then they're just getting it on 4 pluses yeah. every time you use a strat. Great. Yeah, but definitely. it doesn't stack with all solar. Okay, you just got to remember that. How does that work then with reinforcements? So reinforcements, um, do interesting. They re do they actually um, get the CP back? Because obviously they wouldn't be on the board, right? No. So that ability, I don't know if it would take place. Reinforcements. So you have targeted the bearers unit with a stratagem. Okay. So you probably would be able to roll. Yeah. But you wouldn't get the benefit of having an officer within six because the unit's not on the board. Okay. So I, I, that's how I would. Yeah. Read it. Perfect. All right. Seems, yeah. seems like that's how it would yeah, work. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. I'm sure like interactions with that will get clarified yeah, when, when all these... Um... Absolutely. We've got to see it in play and have the interactions come up exactly. first. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. What are my favourite units? Right. Tell me what the cast can do, Mike. Cassian. Come on. All right. So they're not what they used to be. Good. They're not, they're not the big bad. These guys, in your command phase, um, you can select an order to affect them in addition to any other orders that are currently affecting them. So they can have two orders on them? Basically, yes. Cool. And you're going to probably want that rapid fire for extra shots yep. on their plasma guns. Mm -hmm. They'll have two in the unit. Um, and also their hotshot volley guns rapid fire as well. Okay. So, so you can have four special weapons yep. that are all rapid fire, extra shot on each of them. Nice. They hit on threes base, their ballistic skill. So giving them that plus one hit order. They're spec ops, right? They're hitting so on twos. They, yeah, they should do, yeah. Hitting on twos with more shots. Yeah, cool. These guys are awesome. Yeah. Um, they're Scout 6 as well. Oh, they've got Scout? Yeah, okay. they've got Scout 6. That's nice. It's nice. If, if they're in a transport, the transport can also Scout. Brilliant. Which is pretty handy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So these guys are cool. 
Um, you've got a variety of the weapons. There's a really cool ability. I know you love it on your incursors. These yep. guys have got it as well. Melt a mine once per battle. <laughs> At the start of any phase, you can select one enemy unit within three inches of the bearer and roll 1d6. On a 2+, plus, they suffer d3 mortal wounds. And if it's a vehicle? 2d3. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> so I love the fact you don't have to be in combat with them. No, it's, it's so Just good. within three inches. It's such a fun rule, right? At like, the start of any phase. Yeah, I, I love it. It's just like, just imagine. If you ever seen the Dawn of War trailer the first mm. ever dawn of war game oh, and course. the orc runs up to the dreadnought and just yeah. slaps a mine on the yeah. side of it that's how i always imagine that yeah. like scene when they're doing it it's just run up yep <laughs> and i think you always take the mine yeah you lose your main weapon you just get a pistol instead who cares but the mine's really handy and actually the pistol if you're in combat does make you eligible to shoot yeah so hidden tactic in there as well yeah sure uh so that's caskim Auto include this one next is the oh, Scout Sentinel. Scout Sentinel. Auto yeah. include, um, you need a couple of these probably. Yeah. Uh, and the reason for this is at the start of your shooting phase, you can select an enemy unit within 18 invisible. Yep. Any other Astro Militarum uh, models that attack that unit mm -hmm. get to reroll their hit rolls of one. Yep. And if they're shooting with indirect, they ignore the hit roll penalty for indirect. Okay, right, yeah. So they're buffing up the rest of the army just by yeah. having line of sight. Just by being there and having line of sight. Perfect. Yeah. And right. you don't have to shoot. In order to do it, you just pick someone visible within 18 inches. It seems to me, like, obviously we'll run through it at the end with the guard mm -hmm. army, but there's it's it's an army that works off synergies. Yes. So I think scout, yeah, I agree with you, scout sentinels sound pretty invaluable to the army. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You want that reroll ones because you normally only hit on fours. Yeah, so exactly. Uh, you need it. It's absolutely great. You need it. That's really good. Um, okay, next yeah. unit. Scions. Yeah. Um, so specifically the Scions Tauroks Prime combo. Yep, I've been on the end of this. The Tauroks Prime is excellent and yep. will work with Kasakin and other units as well. Yep. But what you get with the Scions is they reroll hit rolls of one all the time, mm -hmm. reroll everything against the target on an objective marker. Brilliant. The Tauroks Prime, after it's shot, mm -hmm. you can select one enemy unit that it shot at yep. and hit, uh, and then anyone that disembarked from the transport that um, can reroll wound rolls against that target this phase. So effectively, if the opponent's on an objective, you re-roll in hits, mm -hmm. then the Tyrox Prime shoots the target, mm -hmm. allows you to then re-roll wounds. Yes. So you just re-roll in everything, basically. You re-roll everything with yeah. the Zion unit. Cool. Um, and once again, good orders, you know, extra rapid fire. Yeah. Plus one to hit. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's brilliant. Good stuff. Yeah, good, I like that. Good yeah. stuff, good package. Yeah, I've been on the end of that, and it, it does hurt. Uh, I say yep. it does hurt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will be painting up some tarot. Oh, come on, Mike. Yeah. I thought you was a nice guy. <laughs> you thought wrong. I thought wrong. You thought wrong. <laughs> he deceived me. <laughs> Zero points for you. Um, Next unit, mate. Yeah. Basilisk. <laughs> right. Okay. Basilisk. Uh, these are great. I mean, yeah. it's such a cool model. It's very guard. It's yeah. one of the iconic guard models. It is. Um, after this, it's shot. Uh, if it hit an enemy infantry unit with its Earthshaker cannon, Earthshaker cannon. Earthshaker. Now, that Dawn of War, you used to be able to like pick a place oh, on the map. Ah, yes. And then from across yeah. the map, you, your basilisk would just shoot this shell yeah. and you just wait for it to land and then there'd be lots of little gibbets yeah. uh, from the enemy unit. Yeah. Just hit. Um, it would leave big craters on the map as well, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. It was very cool. Yeah. So after it's hit an enemy infantry unit, till your opponent's next turn, uh, till the end of your opponent's next turn, you minus two to their move characteristic. Oh, no. And minus two to their advanced charge rolls. See, I don't like this rule. It, it literally, it, because I'm a, I like to play fast armies, mm. having this, it's just like, oh, so annoying. Yeah, it's really strong. So Imagine that against like slow moving armies, so like Death Guard. Yeah, Death Guard. Yeah, you got those Death Shard moving two inches now. And if they roll in advance, they're going to need to roll at least a three for anything to happen. Because um, it minuses two from the advance roll as well as their movement. That's, That's embarrassing. Very strong. <laughs> If you're Death Guard and you don't have Mortarion in the list, that will happen to you. Um, Mortarion lets you ignore the characteristics. Okay, so, yeah. It, there's a lot of ab abilities like this in the game, which is where that ignoring Fire characteristics horns, is really helpful. Thunderfire fire cannons, yeah. Exactly. Um, I mean, the gun's no joke. 240-inch range. That's right, I could shoot you right now, dear viewer, <laughs> with this basilisk. You, at the camera. That's the range it has. Um, uh, it's heavy, so it has plus one to hit if it stays still. Yeah. Indirect fire, so it's probably going to stay still. Yep. Um, D6 plus two shots, hit on fours, strength eight, minus two, two damage. We're not there for the damage. We're there for the, the rule of it. It's good. I mean, even, like, it's squadron, so you could get this to AP4 against okay. the right target and yep. ignoring the modifiers. Yeah. And 
plus one to hit and all that yeah, goodness. Yeah, that's, that's pretty so fine. So you could spot someone with a yeah. guy with a box caster, mm -hmm. and then you could have all the extra AP, and you could have a bunch of these shooter target and be AP4 hitting on twos. Yeah. I don't like artillery. It's a coward's way. <laughs> <laughs> Next yeah. unit, dudes. Uh, so we had the infantry squad, which we mentioned about having the heavy weapons teams in. Yeah. Um, that's kind of your alternative troop choice, really. Cool. Um, these guys get cover if they're on an objective that you control. All right. Yeah. I'd cool. pr probably just take the Cadian infantry. Yeah. Agreed. Honest. Yeah. Agreed. Um, um, are we going to talk about this baby now? I figured we should finish off with the Bane Blade. I think the Bane Blade um, is it's the most iconic guard vehicle. It is. Right? It is. Or maybe a Lehman Ross. But I think I think this is up there. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's just so cool. I, I love seeing just Bane Blades on the battlefield. It's, I've seen you run two at a tournament. I, it was very fun. Yeah. It was very fun. I, I mean, you've got a reason to run three now because Solar can issue orders to the Oh, God. Ball. Just imagine him sat behind three, three Bane yeah. Blades and just pushing yeah. them up the top. Provided none of them explode with Deadly Demise. Yeah. I think he'll be okay. What's their Deadly Demise? Um, D6 plus two. Okay, I thought it'd be a bit worse than that. that I mean, that's pretty bad. That's pretty, pretty <laughs> that's funny. pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so the Bane Blade, um, if a ranged attack is allocated to an Astra Militarum model from your army, yep. and that model is not fully visible mm -hmm. to every model in the attacking unit, because of this model, the Bane Blade, yep. you get the benefits of cover against the attack. So it's a moving building. It's a moving building. That's, I think that's really cool. That is honestly right? one of the coolest rules in 40k it's also a nice way to give it an ability that doesn't overcook it yes sure sure but is also thematic yeah i, I agree yeah. with that i think but you could this how it would work right because even in real life in, in war mm -hmm. situations you have infantry walking behind the tanks and the yeah. tanks then become the shields for yeah. for the infantry so having this as that kind of fortress just rolling up yeah, with exactly. the 50 million guns that it has yep and you literally just got this column of infantry marching behind it. That's so cool. I it's love very that. cool. Yeah. I will be running one of these at some point, Good. hopefully on the channel. Good. Yeah. Um, because I've got one, and it's we've beautiful. got to make it. We've got to make happen the two bane blades. Yeah, and it's cannon. All right. Okay. We've got to talk the about cannon. the cannon Tell and, me and the, the characteristics. Cannon. So the cannon, seventy-two inch range. Yep. Three d six shots. Yep. Mm, not a huge fan of three d six because I have rolled three shots before with this guy. That's my. Um. Point. Yep. <laughs> Strength twelve. Yep. AP two, flat three damage. Okay, so AP, obviously, I'm, I'm just keep considering the spike mm -hmm. a bit. So it so. can only go up to one more AP as okay. an exterminator. Yeah, cool. Because it's not regiment or squadron. So it's um, going to go up to three. AP three, potentially, yeah, damage three. Um, okay. Ballistic skill three plus if you've got solar yeah. in the list. Nine inch move. Toughness 13. Cheeky, nice. Cheeky. Yeah. Two plus save, of yeah. course. 24 wounds. Wait, doesn't that mean last cannons wound it on fives? Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. Um, OC8. Um, and in match play, they've removed the thing where you can't sit on objectives. So right. this guy's going to park on an objective with OC8, be invincible. I think he's the diameter of the whole objective. He probably is, actually. So you actually can't fit. <laughs> you won't be able to fit enough OC, at least, because yeah. he's OC8. Yeah. Um, yeah, cool. All right. Love That's, it. Um, yeah, I, I think mean, you can pack four Laz cannons and eight heavy flame. Well, four twin heavy flamers on this guy. Yeah. Um, he's, he's yeah. So cool. I, I think it's awesome. I think yeah, Bane Blades. They they have a spot in they the do. army. They uh, do. Um, they're cool. You can definitely build around them. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go through all of the other no, super the, heavies. Yeah. We've probably gone through so many data sheets already. Yeah. That this video is getting long. Um, <laughs> but I do love my guard. So yes. uh, we've given yeah. you a broad range. Horses. I didn't talk about the horses. No. Um, they're not as good as they used to be. Okay. Um, but they're still a nice, valid melee threat. Yeah. yeah and they're definitely. fast. So definitely. you can do your cards with them. It's cool. It's, it's, it's a cool unit yeah. just to put in, isn't it? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, we've run over the units and the data sheets. Mm -hmm. I think, as we said earlier, the guards clearly work on a lot of synergies. Yeah. So when you're building your list, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but you want to look at... So the, what is the purpose of having a Basilisk? What mm -hmm. is the purpose of having the Lehman Ross with yeah. the Executioner rule? Like yeah. you, want, you want to look at what yeah. benefits it's going to provide the rest of the army, right? Yeah, how do I get the most out of this unit? Do I have enough officers to issue enough orders yeah, exactly. to make these units effective? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. No, that's, it's, it's really cool. It's really thematic. Um, but tell me, Mike, how does the um, army work with mission play? So are we going tactical or are we going fixed? Uh, yeah, so mission play, tactical, you can definitely do. 
Yeah. You've got a lot of cheap little units yeah, that can sure. run around and do sure. objectives. So you can easily build into tactical. Mm -hmm. Scions have deep strike. Yeah. Okay. It's five models on 25 mm -hmm. more bases. That's a really small footprint. Yeah. So having that in deep strike ready to drop anywhere on the board, you can score a lot of different cards with yeah, that. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, you've got decent OC on vehicles, mm -hmm. which are very tough to kill. So you can take objectives and hold them yep. uh, relatively well. Um, so you, you probably look at tactical, yeah. but you're going to have to build for it. Mm -hmm. If you go all armor and not much is invested in, in you know scoring tactical yeah. cards, then you're going to struggle. Yeah. Um, the biggest uh, struggling factor with guard is that they often give up a lot of points on assassinate yep. and, bring, and it bring it down, Okay. which your opponent can obviously take both. Yeah, sure. And then you're kind of stuck there trying to score these random cards or yeah. all your opponent has to do is just shoot you or, yeah. or fight you in combat and kill yeah. you. Yeah. That's the biggest struggle with guard at the moment. Um, also, guard don't really have access to many mortal wounds. Okay, right, yeah. Um, so that is definitely one of their weaknesses. Yeah. Um, and they don't have any saves really against mortal wounds either. Okay. So, um, yeah. Yeah. But tactical, I think, is the way you probably want to go. Yeah, definitely. I think you, building your list around that is definitely, mm -hmm. it, it sounds like the smart way to go with the army. Um, yeah. But it does seem like the army is very thematic um, and it doesn't seem like you are kind of, at, towards the end of ninth, it was yeah. mainly armour central, like everyone was just taking these Lehman Ross yep. armies, whereas now it, it does seem like you can lean more towards other oh, stuff. Absolutely. Help. You can really have, you can, you can do your artillery army, you cool. can do your tank army, you can do your infantry army. And you can do a bit of everything, yeah. Uh, and it still works, um, but it's not an easy win faction. I yeah. don't think. Yeah, it's, it's there is going to be an element of, of skill to it. Yeah, um, with all the synergies. Nice, nice. Well, obviously, thank you all for watching the video, uh, Mike. Thank you for letting me pick your brain on the on the Astra Militari. You're very welcome. Yeah, it's yes. it's been it's been pretty cool. I mean, I, I was interested in how the guard work now, and um, yeah, you've explained explained it. Yeah. Valiantly. Oh, thank, thank you. Valiantly. Thank you. Valiantly. I don't think valiantly is the word, but yeah. we're going with it, bro. Absolutely. Awesome. I want you in the comments to let me know what your favorite guard vehicle is. Yep. And why is it the Valkyrie? Um, so let me know what your favorite guard vehicle is, favorite super heavy. Um, if there's any like combos of a specific leader with a specific unit. Yeah. Um, I haven't even talked yet about how good a Agents of the Imperium are with Guard, like yeah. Inquisitors and stuff. I feel like we should do our I think I'll do a video on, on yeah. Agents at some point. That is your um, speciality in terms so far. I've been loving it yeah. um, uh, so far. But yes, drop a like, definitely subscribe, um, and drop a comment. Uh, it helps the algorithm. Yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah, as I said, put everything in the comments. Let us know how you thought this video, and we will see you in a video very soon. Hello and welcome to this how to play video. We are going to be reviewing Imperial Guard today or Astra Militarum. As They're called Astra Militarum. Okay. okay. Look, I know Imperial Guard. Get with the, get with the, what's it called? Oh. Get with the picture. The program. Program. That's it. Get with yeah. the, get with the picture. God, you're so They're old called old. Imperial Guard. Um. <laughs> They're called Astra Militarum now. Okay. Let's well, do that again. Yeah, sure. All right. Um.